It's so important to talk about embedding health into schools now and in the future. We see so many disparate outcomes, and those can largely be attributed to many inequities we see in how students have their needs uh, met. We see you know, students who are suffering from not having enough nutrition and not having enough physical activity. And the more we can address those factors, the better we're going to see them address those disparities and achieve academically. So the good news and what gives me hope is that there's more and more conversations and more, folks are much more open to say, let's have this conversation. Let's integrate our structures, uh, meeting with behavioral health providers. And I share this broadly, that is my audacious goal in Connecticut, that every school building, we have over 1,500 of them, that every school building would have that behavioral, physical health, mental health supports embedded in it. We had to leverage the expertise and support within each of our respective federal agencies. And while we do some of that already, um, we clearly have much more to do. And we are always advocating the need for collaboration at the state and local level. We need to find a way to um, provide these supports that are sustainable um, and also provide the supports to where we can work collaboratively, right, with our health agencies to ensure that um, our students and our staff um, have the resources and supports that they need um, to be successful. We all have a role in ensuring that we have a shared horizon for how we support students and staff and teachers in schools, and that we can transform schools to be more effective in meeting their basic deliverables of education if we understand and, and deliver um, on this vision of ensuring that we're addressing the social, physical and mental health needs of our school communities.